Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venomman20 here tonight. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite rattlesnakes. These guys are amazing. They get pretty big, they normally stay pretty calm, and this is not the example that I should show you to describe that, because this guy goes haywire. So let's try to keep him on the table and see how that goes. All venomous snake handling in this video is performed by a professional. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. So here he is. Here is Colus mellosus, or the black tail rattlesnake. This is actually a larger species of rattlesnake. These guys can get about four feet long. This guy's still pretty small. But what's cool about these, if you can hear me over the rattle, number one, they will put on a pretty good display, but typically they're very calm. This guy, he means business, unlike a lot of them. But just beautiful. This is one of my favorites as far as the coloration. Plus he has that nice banding along the eyes, almost like a raccoon does. Gorgeous, gorgeous animal. It's okay, buddy. Let me go and mute him real quick. Okay, so that's a little bit better, or at least it is on my end. And you're like, what did you just spray on? That was basic water. That was the water I used to spray the arboreal vipers. What it is, is if you know how you get out of the shower when your thumbnail is all soft and it's easier to click your nails. That's the same way with the rattle. It's made out of the same thing. It's the keratin, just like your hair and your fingernails. So when it's wet, it's a little softer and it doesn't make as much noise. So you're a lot quieter now. He's in that signature figure S position, rattling, showing me, look how bad I am. Don't come any closer. And trust me, dude, I won't. So this rattlesnake venom is a lot less toxic than other rattlesnakes. Now to make up for it, to still defend himself and to catch prey, he has much larger venom glands. He's got big old venom glands on him. So what's up guys? But I love the coloration of these guys. So these live throughout the southern, southwest United States and parts of Mexico. So like Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Texas, all in that range right there. Um, they actually have a huge range, and I'm super excited to say, yet again, unlike a lot of snakes out there, according to the studies, these guys aren't necessarily becoming rare. These guys are maintaining their own. These guys are still doing relatively well in the wild, unlike many other snakes. Especially being of a larger size, you would think that habitat destruction and people killing them would really be playing a part. But for the most part, according to studies done in like 2007, it looked as if these guys were still doing very well. So these guys have a, a least toxic venom compared to a lot of other rattlesnakes. And they also typically are a little calmer. I've known many people that have black tail rattlesnakes that are just very placid, just kind of sit around and just hang out. Kind of like this guy's doing right now. But don't get him fooled right now. He would nail me if I came close enough. He's sensing with his tongue, he's lower bottom. He's not coming up. If he was to sense a full sense, that's more of like, hmm, are you food or uh, what's going on? Since he's only staying below that lower jaw, that's more of, you better watch yourself. I'm on to you. I know where you're at. Get that right. He's beautiful, beautiful snake. So a lot of crotalids don't ride a hook well. And this guy is a great example of that. Can I get you on that other camera? Can I get a close-up? There you go. Thank you. No, 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 don't go that way. Other camera's right there. Close up with your head. Stay there, you're doing good. These are pretty interesting rattlesnakes. Like I said, they're a little bit bigger. A lot of the rattlesnakes out in the uh, southeast are like your montane rattlesnakes. Now, yet again, your western diamondback gets a little bit bigger, I do believe. Uh, your, uh, uh, well, quite a few rattlesnakes down in South America or Central America get quite a bit bigger than this guy. But for the most part, he's he's pretty decent sized, or they get pretty decent sized. Those guys pretty small. Um, if everything goes well, I'm going to get a couple more of these. I would like to breed them. 
because I mean he is outstanding. He's this beautiful brown and olive color. Look at him. What are you doing, bud? <laughs> you are you're worked up. That's for sure. He was asleep when I when I came in to get him. He uh, he was hiding inside his log. It's actually a fake cactus that ain't a log, but he loves to hide in there. And I pulled you out to show you to the world, and you don't like that, do you? No. Just a beautiful little rattlesnake. I like these guys a lot. As far as bigger rattlesnakes go, this is one of my favorite. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of like the Aatrox. I mean, they're beautiful. There's nothing wrong with them, but to keep them, they're, they're just, they are what they are. You know, they don't ride a hook. They're big. They're very toxic. It's not my favorite thing. Or well, the Eastern Dimex, Adamantheus. I really like those guys quite a bit. Uh, I love all the Dorissa species, like the Neotropicals and the, uh, those guys are very cool. Mexican West Coast, those are neat. Which, of course, I still have my baby. He's growing. He's not quite as big as you yet, though. Can't wait till he gets huge. You sure are pretty. I wish you'd stay on this camera, though. Maybe I should have focused this camera over here, if you like that spot so much. There, yeah, there's your pretty colors. There's your pretty colors. What are you doing, buddy? It's okay. Stay, stay on camera, please. Be a good guy. So I have a lot of rattlesnakes to show you guys. This is just one of the many. The only reason I'm bringing him to you tonight is he's actually getting ready to go into Burmation. Tis the season. It's that time of the year for him to cool down. It's a cycle. Uh, this is a natural part of life in the wild. It's very good to, you know, to uh, cycle an animal that naturally cycles in the wild. Some people disagree with that, but at the same time, I've known many species that die off in captivity because people don't cycle them. So uh, I think it's very beneficial to be cooled down. So he'll be put in a room that's about 50 degrees, and he will stay there for a couple months. And then he'll be back until the spring, and you guys can say hi to him again. You can enjoy him just like I'm doing tonight. You can take a look at him together, see how he's grown. He won't grow much, needless to say. What's up, buddy? The rattle's starting to dry out. You're starting to get loud again. <laughs> oh, we're quiet. So as you see, a signature black tail, hence black tail rattlesnake. You look like the Aatrox tail or the Western Diamondback rattlesnake tail. They have bands across it. So do the, uh, what is it, the Mojave, I do believe, has the bands as well. But not you. Your tail's completely black. But anyway, guys, thank you for checking this out. I will bring you more rattlesnakes in the weeks to come. Check back tomorrow for another video. It might not be up tomorrow. I try my best to put something out every day or at least every other day. So uh, if you don't want to miss it, make sure you subscribe. Check out my other videos. I really appreciate it. Like this video if you would. You guys have a wonderful night. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Can I put your back? You ready to go back? Your cactus is a calling. Here, let's get your close up. There you go. Well, don't come too close to my hand. <laughs> Silly guy. There you go.